Hey guys, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase your thumb range of motion with three thumb web space stretches. And these stretches are also very helpful if you're dealing with thumb pain from thumb arthritis. So a lot of the times when your thumb is painful or doesn't have good mobility, it's because you're lacking that full thumb web space. You might have a hard time opening that thumb up and there's a little muscle in here called your adductor pollicis that gets really, really tight and it wants to kind of prevent your thumbs from going out too far. And that can make things like grasping large objects and cups very difficult difficult to do. Now, real quick, if you've ever felt stuck or frustrated because your thumb arthritis pain is keeping you from doing activities or hobbies, well, I have just the thing for you. I'm going to show you how to preserve your thumb health with five tips to conquer thumb arthritis pain in my new upcoming workshop. I'm going to show you the exact steps you can take right now. I'll leave the link here and in the description box below. So exercise number one is a web space stretch to both hands. So to do this one, you want to spread your thumbs out, both of your thumbs as far as you can go. Now, if you have one that doesn't go that far, that's okay. Your other hand is going to help. And what you wanna do is you want to meet those thumb web spaces together as much as you can, and you're gonna gently massage and gently push into that thumb web space. And you wanna get down as far as you can go. And then what you wanna do is you want to rest that arm down, rest your hands down. You can prop it up on your lap, on a pillow, just rest it on a table, whatever's comfortable. But you're actually gonna hold this for about one minute and what that does is you're providing a nice low load, but a long stretch to that web space. So instead of just doing very short bursts of stretching that can sometimes be kind of aggravating to your thumb, you want to do something that provides a lower load of a stretch, but over a longer length of time to help get that tissue to stretch out a little bit slower and a little bit more friendly on that thumb. And then you would go ahead and just release that. But you would want to repeat that again and do one to three minute long holds of that web space stretch, three to five repetitions of those a couple of times a day. Thumb stretch exercise number two, you're gonna wanna grab yourself a ball and maybe a, a massage tool or pencil, a highlighter. And so what you wanna do is you wanna grab that ball try to open up the thumb web space and expose this tight muscle right in here. And then what you're gonna do is just rest your hand down over that ball. And then you wanna take a massage tool or maybe you know a pencil. And what you wanna do is provide some massage and just a nice pressure release to that tight web space. And so you want to spend, you know, a few seconds here, just going in circular motions, one direction, nice circular motions in the other direction. You really want to make sure you're getting real deep into the muscle. And then what you want to do is you want to try to nice and lightly stretch that thumb web space a little bit more around that thumb, exposing the web space a little more and then massaging it again. And again, trying to nice and lightly stretch that thumb around and then massaging that again. And you would wanna continue that for a good one to three minutes and do about three to five repetitions of those a couple of times a day. Okay, thumb web space stretch number three is to use a chip clip or to use a pressure point clip. There are a few different types of acupressure or pressure release tools out there that you can find. You wanna make sure you get something though that is round because anything that is kind of square or has some sharp edges is not gonna feel very comfortable and doesn't conform around the natural curve of our thumb web space. And so what you wanna do is take that chip clip or that pressure tool and open that up wide, open your thumb up as wide as you can, and then apply that chip clip deep down into that tight adductor pollicis muscle. And then what you would wanna do is just relax that and then let the clip help release that tight muscle, but also help keep that thumb web space 
open a little longer without you having to overstrain your thumb from trying to open that thumb up so much. And so then you would hold this for a good one to three minutes, and then you would just remove that and then repeat that again for three to five repetitions a couple times a day. Let me know in the comments below if you tried these three web space stretches and let me know if you noticed some improvement in your overall thumb range of motion from these exercises. If you're looking for more exercises and stretches and ways to help with your thumb range of motion and stiffness, then don't forget to sign up for my workshop, How to Preserve Your Thumb Health, Five Tips to Conquer Thumb Arthritis Pain. Thanks for watching.